Hey, what's going on guys? This is Dan Base Games, and today we're going to be talking about Codebreaker and the way that you can 100% every level on the first try, and the way in which this is possible, and whether or not it's cheating slash exploiting the game mode itself. I'm going to explain how it works, show you guys how it works, and put the method into practice, and give you all the information you need to be able to do it yourselves, or at least explain to you how it's done. I'd like to have a general conversation in the comments on this video, especially on Twitch, or YouTube, wherever you want to put it, and we can talk about whether or not this is classed as cheating, and your opinion, or whether or not you think it's exploiting, or how it's done. Basically, I'm going to give you both sides of it, my input as a game developer, and how it works. If you're going to enjoy this video though, please be sure to drop a like on it, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more WWE Supercar content including news, pack openings and tutorials. Anyways, without any further ado, let's get straight into the video. So first things first, we're going to talk about Codebreaker and how in which the actual game mode itself works. So essentially Codebreaker is made up of four card combinations using your left, right, up and down arrow cards. This doesn't really matter as to how powerful your cards are, you'll still win regardless. This method is sort of on the line of broken and it does in fact break the mode. My only concern with it though is that it is a ranked mode which means that only 10,000 people get the card and anyone using this method is pretty much guaranteed to get themselves a card from it. With little to no effort because it takes away 100% of the guests work there is literally no wasted bouts if you use doublers it goes even faster but generally speaking this mode is kind of cheating but kind of at the same time not it's basically using a program to run the possible outcomes that there are with the game having a total of four cards and combinations you can use there is a total outcome of 256 possible combinations that you can use which means if you put down a random combination you have a 1 in 256 chance of getting the code first try which is very unlikely especially if it's going to happen essentially with this algorithm it tells you how to put down the code exactly that you'll get the most likely outcome essentially with the combination there is 256 po possible outcomes essentially if we start with combination number one which would be left 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 four left arrows second combination is left 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 right left 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 up left 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 down left left down left 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 up left 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 right left which is a mouthful but essentially there are 256 possible outcomes along these lines but when you run this like program essentially it will predict the most likely outcome based on what it can what information you give it and essentially it predicts the possible the best possible outcome and gives you 100% success rate almost every single time. It can fail, but it is very unlikely to fail. I want to give full credit to this to LJ Rex, another supercar content creator on both YouTube and Twitch. I'll give you the link to his video to that one if you want to go check out his video on this topic, but I wanted to give you my part on it as a game developer and whether or not it's cheating and just explain to you guys how it works from our perspective too. While we talk about this though, let's get on and play some of this and run through how it works at the same time. So what we're going to do first off, we're starting from a blank game each time here. So we're going to start and hit play. Simple as that. And we're going to get it to input our possible outcome combinations. So the first combination that it wants to offer is right, left, right, right. It can then use this information to then tell tell itself which of the possible combinations of that 256 list to remove using the outcomes you got here. So you know that in the first one, you've got zero ticks and two the other way. For those who don't know what it means, uh, the ticks are cards that you have in the right position and the right card. The one below are the ones that are the right colors, but not in the right spots. So you can input into the website that there are zero in the right color and column and two in the right color, but wrong column. Them. From that, it then eliminates the next most likely outcomes, and it will shrink that list from 256 possible outcomes for this particular code down to a much smaller number until eventually it gets it down to the exact code, which it can usually do in the four bouts. 99% of the time, which means using doublers, you don't waste any bouts and you get the best possible outcome for each match. From this side though, what I'd like to know from you guys is whether or not you think this is cheating because it technically is just running the algorithm that the game itself uses, but you have the answers itself. This is all the game is doing to set a, a, an exact answer, but essentially you know what it is. So the second, the second possible outcome is down, right, down, left which we can see gives us one in the correct space and two that aren't. We can then input that into the website itself, which then gives us a third possible answer, which is left, right, up, down for the next round, which again is shrinking that list. My concern as a player of Supercard and a game developer on my side is the fact that the game is a top 10,000 players get the card kind of ranked mode. So essentially anyone using this can essentially guarantee themselves the card and it then no longer becomes about how to guess the code and who can guess the code the fastest to get through the levels. It then becomes who plays the most. So the next suggested outcome is left, right, up, down. Essentially, Codebreaker is a reskin of an old game that came out in the 1970s called Minefield. Minefield used to have six color combinations across this part and used to put pegs into a physical board game. Now it's a digital version, but instead of six pegs, it's four to do with Supercard's current arrow system. It's a really nice game mode and a really nice, nice thought. However, it is easily exploitable like this because this sort of answer has been around for a very, very long time. So full credits to LJ Rex to helping actually make it a new viable version of this. My only thought though is this, will this mean that the game mode needs to be changed so that this can't happen. Adding more pegs into the game mode or colors essentially 
in this case will not make it any more or less likely that you'll still be able to predict the outcome. It still works on the same premise, so therefore it's still just as easy to get this in the first shot. So my question is, will this continue to happen going forward, but this is how people will get to the top of the ranks very, very easily, because they have no guesswork, or will it mean that the game mode is removed or changed entirely? I don't know. Essentially, I like to guess in the mode and I don't particularly use this method myself, but I do know that it can work. So from this, we have already guessed the final code. This does have a 100% success rate and I'd love to know what you guys think about it. But essentially with 100% success rate, as you go through further levels, you are guaranteed to get more and more points and it's going to be harder and harder to break into the top 10k. So with this information now with you guys, I'd love to know what you guys think about whether or not this game mode should stay in the game, if it should be changed in a way and how you feel about it going forward based on this knowledge and that there is information out there that can really, really influence whether or not you get the card or not. Free to play players that don't have a method as successful as this, likelihood is you most likely will have a very, very tough time getting the card, especially a high rank card, because this is exactly how people will get the top tier ranks. I'm not throwing shade, but this is the method and it is, again, it's not really even cheating. It is simply as much as exploiting the, the, the patterns in which the game are running itself. If you want more details on how this works, please head on over to LJ Rex's video linked down in the description, of course. Subscribe to my channel if you have enjoyed it and you want to see more WWE Supercard news and updates from me. I'll be live today over on twitch.tv forward slash games as I am every single weekend streaming some WWE Supercard. Like the video if you have enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys for watching. Bye bye.